I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Oh. Vivian, no! Oh my god. Fuck! Man, I got this gold all over me. Automatically she gon' twerk. Now I got these holes all over me. She know that I be putting in work. Pulling up that soul and then it's in. It's pretty bad right now. What is happening, YouTube? It is your boy, TC. And welcome back to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. Now, in the last episode, we finally found out where the Crooked Man is. And now we're going to have a little, little, little talk to him. And see what's been going on in Fable Town. Now, I want to get straight into this. <laughs> I really didn't have anything else. I wanted to be as dramatic as I could be. You know? <laughs> God, um. I mean, almost your positive eyes among cocaine. And the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Oh, well, it's Faith. <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Wow, this was stuff from like no. episode one, two, and three. Holly's sister, Lily. Hmm. Do you even give a shit about us? The, the strays. strays. <laughs> that's oh, why you God, can't tell that's me funny anything. though. It's the ribbon. I don't care it? what anybody says. That's fucking funny. The strays. We're destroying the tree. <laughs> no. Burn the tree down. Burn it! Down. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, blood monsters are you? Sorry. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? After everything we fucking been through, you don't have the nerve to give me a straight answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Right to me, oh back, God, my... Bigby. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. I'll do my best, Mr. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I might have to play this game again and like be the big bad wolf that everybody sees me as just to see if that gets me like any other trophies or if it's just like oh you beat a chapter oh you beat another chapter oh you beat another chapter good congratulations yeah beat the wolf among us I hope it's not like that I hope it's like more to it and I have to play through it again. I think that'd be cool. What would be cool is if you had to pick every right option uh, for a trophy. Or pick every bad option for a trophy. That'd be sick. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. Uh, the must be tired. Man. His lair. Sucks to be you. I got a man cave. <laughs> <laughs> and if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Uneasy? Hmm? Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat. Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Why are you talking well, about food? Gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. I'm here for one reason. And it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? 
Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Yeah. Know your place. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying, You're destroying this, this town. town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed? People do like to take their shots at me. You're behind You're right the that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but this I promise you to talk that the matter out. will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. Perhaps you've become what? somewhat unscrewed. It was Mary. <laughs> no, Sheriff. I'm afraid you're mistaken. And I have complete respect for you and your job. I really do. But I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Twiddledee, please. I'm the, I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a... That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Really? Uh, I should have probably put in the finger at him. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter. If oh, you why don't did I mind. say Bloody Mary? I know Georgie. George was you doing got it. what you wanted, so just sit down now. I really messed that up, man. Jersey, you're getting rowdy. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie, why'd, why'd you, you do, do it? it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yes. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits. And I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss oh. what to do with you. This is right, bollocks! That's crazy. They You're just gonna let him do anything. this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage after everything I've done for you? Look, I'll I just think take both I'll of be you. taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one 
Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Just get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, oh Sheriff, Lord. but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I'm, I'm running out of man. patience, crooked man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. This is not good. <clears throat> Aye. Say it was nice knowing you. I'll oh, be glad on. to see your insides turned out. Woo. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh, rain is storming. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Hey. This way. Dealing with them. Thank you. Let them be. Just go in the portal. You're wasting time. There we go. Jeez. Come on. Oh, shit. I know. Sorry for the interruption, but before we get into the game, let's let's look at these fables real quick, you know. Let's look at these fables real quick, you feel me? Mmm, these fables looking kinda good. Oh crumb lord. You don't say. Alright. Back to the story of things. Let's get back to the chase. Oh, I should have went to the limo. Fuck! What was that? Yep, there he is. 
kill one after the cooking man. Oh yeah, whenever he turns like full on wolf, he has to put some clothes on. Forgot about that. Yeesh. Holy He's shit. bleeding a lot. Yikes. Kinda feel bad for the guy. Hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course. You're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. Had to say goodbyes first. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> You're gonna carry me? If Please, have Sheriff. To. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. Just leave it alone. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. Mistakes? What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Ugh. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. George. You think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just trying I to... I know what you were trying to do. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? 
George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you! Hey, leave her out of this, Georgie. This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. That's crazy. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait. So you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really- Just shut up. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily, to all of them. Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't. Oh. Oh. Vivian, Georgie. no. Oh my God. Fuck! No, 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 no! Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just... Jesus. Did I just see what I think I just saw? Um... Uh huh. Okay. Jesus. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh. Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him.
really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Make a promise to a dying man. Give him hell. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. I'm not sticking around for much longer. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <sighs> Let's not draw this out. All right, Georgie. on there, but okay. Interruptions. Anyway, let's look at these books of fables. Look at the books of fables. Yeah, you fucking like that. Yeah, you like that. Mm, the book of fables. Mm. Oh, yeah, books of... Um, I mean, uh, the books of fable, yeah. You like that? Jeez, man, this game just did a 180 real quick. All right. Off to see the crooked man, I guess. Guess the pudding pie is out of commission. Get it. See what destruction we can do here. Yep, all from the crooked man. Hey, buddy. She's here. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. Keyword used to. Well, keywords.
they used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. So that's the mechanism that they torture people with. Ah, okay. I don't like it, but sure. Silver rounds are silver. The big bad wolf. She can just appear out of nowhere. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? She's gone. It again. Where are Where you? you? Come out and face me. Wonderful. 
that was dope. <sighs> Not gonna lie. And we're naked. Cool. I see he's waiting for me. And this is where I'm going to end the episode. <laughs> Sorry to end you on the cliffhanger, but... I gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your support is greatly appreciated. By the great words of the King Daffy. I'm not gonna look at a book of fables, uh, mainly because I gotta, you know, get on clock. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.